Part D, we're going to cover antitussives and expectorants, both drugs that are used in the treatment of coughs, although sometimes inappropriately. You know, cough reflux is important. It, it's our body's way of clearing the airway of secretions and foreign, ob foreign objects. So if we're having a productive cough, we actually want that cough to happen. If we're having a dry cough, a non-productive cough, or a cough in the presence of abdominal surgeries like after hernia repairs, then a cough is um, harmful and we want to, want to eliminate that cough. There are two types of antitussives, which is anything that stops or reduces a cough. There's opioids and non-opioids. Opioids act centrally within the medulla to um, stop the cough reflex and it, it acts directly on the cough center. Codeine and hydrocodone are the two most common opioids that do this. Uh, codeine is used in Robitussin AC or Dimetane DC. Hydrocodone, you might see something called Vicotussin. Non-opioids work peripherally within, within the throat and upper respiratory or lower respiratory system. These numb the stretch, stretch receptors in the respiratory tract and prevent the cough reflux from being um, stimulated. Uh, two most common are dextromethorphan, which is found in Vicks Formula 44, or Robitussin DM. This is an over-the-counter medication. Or benzo benzonate, or Tesalon pearls, and this is a, a prescription medication. These should all, all of these should only be used in non-productive coughs. Non-opioids side effects are dizziness, drowsiness, and nausea. And opioids have sedation, nausea, vomiting, lightheadedness, and constipation. So some of the, some of the nursing implications, we, we want to do a thorough respiratory assessment before and during treatment. If you listen to the lungs and you're hearing wet lungs, the, the indication that there's mucus and secretions in the lungs, we do not want to give a, an antitussive. We actually want to stimulate the cough, the, the cough and deep breathe uh, to clear the lungs of those secretions. If we're giving a, um, a, a, a medication, we want to make sure we're assessing for uh, drowsiness and dizziness. Um, if they're taking liquids or lozenges, do not drink liquids for 30 to 35 minutes. Remember, we're numbing those stress receptors. We don't want to wash that away. Remember, these are always used for anti or for non-productive coughs. If a cough is lasting more than a week, we need to report that. And monitor for therapeutic effects. If we're not getting the results we want, we won't give this medication. Expectorants are drugs that aid in the expectoration of mucus. These reduce the vis viscosity of secretions and help disintegrate and thin those secretions. These reduce the uh, viscosity of tenacious secretions, secretions by increasing, res, res, I'm sorry, increasing the respiratory tract fluid. Now it sounds backwards, like why are we increasing the fluid? Well, we're increasing the fluid and that uh, dilutes those uh, tenacious secretions, which makes it easier to get rid of it. That's the reflex stimulation. The d direct stimulation, uh, the secre secretory glands are stimulated to directly increase production of respiratory tract fluids and again, to increase the fluids and cause more coughing to, to get them out of the lungs. Um, iodine containing products such as potassium iodine work directly. Indications, these are used for re relief of productive coughs, such as the common cold bronchitis, uh, laryngitis, pharyngitis, pertussis, influenza, and measles. There are minimal uh, GI side effects with, ex with these expectorants. We're going to use cautiously in the elderly or those with asthma or other respiratory diseases. We're going to um, expect increase, we're going to increase fluids uh, to help loosen and liquefy secretions. We're going to report a fever cough or other symptoms that last longer than a week, and as always, we're going to monitor for intended effects. In learning plan, or in part E, we're going to start, start talking about diseases of the lower respiratory tract.